Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how you need to submit your, uh, how you can submit your work to Blackboard from Tinkercad. Okay, let's say that this is your completed work. You have two, you have done two examples, and then after you compare, you found that, okay, you prefer the, the one behind because the one behind is, um, has done properly, you can see the center is actually in the center, but if you look at the first one, if the center is actually on the floor. Okay, so I don't want the first one, I want the second one. Okay, what I need to do now is let's look at the export option in Tinkercad. If I just click and export, you can see there's only one option, which is export everything in the design. And I do not want this option because if I export this, I will have two design exported and both will be located in one file. It's very difficult, which I need to do extra work to cut, uh, to separate them before I can print. Uh, so the solution is like this. Okay, you click and select the objects. Uh, these are many objects. You can group them first or you can do it like what I'm doing. Just select all these objects. Okay. Uh, of course, you need to name here. You can put your name. Okay. You can name your file. Okay. Let's say this is a, a form. I just put F O N G. Then this project is called Key or Magic One. Then we just put, give give the name also. Okay. Put in the name. Now I can choose export. But before I click export, I need to remember to select my design. Then I click export, and now, now you can see there's only uh, the second option is there. Only the selected sixteen shapes. That means what I uh, only export what I have selected. And you need to select STL format in here. STL format is for our three D printing. So wait for a while. Now you can see the file has been exported out. Okay. What you need to do now is go back to your three uh, D modeling uh, class. Um, you can see I have um, every lesson, okay, you, you can see there's a lesson 1, lesson 2, lesson 3, and you click on the lesson. First, you have an um, um, explanation on uh, what you need to do uh, during this lesson. After that, there is one section where you can submit your, your completed work. Okay, I will put a due date there uh, so that uh, you you will uh, you need to remember when will be the last day to submit so I can print it out for you on time. Now you click on this uh, with the due date. You need to build instruction first before you can click any submission. So you build instruction. Okay, uh, here every one of you will have three attempts. Uh, I just click in here and then I just choose attachment. So I attach the file that I've just exported, which is the one with the word key, and then I just click okay, display name, okay, save. So this is the object you want to submit, and you will see the submit button uh, will be enabled. Uh, once you have uh, uploaded the file, you can delete if you have uploaded long wrongly or if you want to make changes. Or if you make changes after you submit, you can try again. Since I, uh, I will, you will have three attempts, uh, for every single uh project. Okay, now you click submit, submit assignment, click submit. You can download or you can just leave this. Okay, done. Your submission is, uh, has been completed.